Daniel Fatty's Miracle Videos. Beekeeping, hive making, and placement. One of the best ways to start a sustainable local beekeeping project is to use grass hive technology. Hey Tyler, what are you doing? Hey Matt, welcome back to this old hive. I think we're going to do some hive weaving today. Let's get going. Great job. So, what do we need to get this thing rolling? Well, pretty simple, Matt. Grass, palm frond, a knife, and a pointing instrument. Great job. So, where'd you learn how to make these hives? Oh, from my counterparts. This is a traditional way that Africans have been making beehives for generations. First, we'll separate the palm fronds. You want to rip down the spine of the palm frond. Next, rip them, and you can see that it's about an, an inch in width. Now make this into more of a, a needle point. So now that we have our grass, remember to be consistent with uh, the amount of grass you take each time. Grab one of the, the palm fronds. So you tie a simple overhand knot. You can start wrapping it. Wrap this like a candy can. It's one of the best ways to think about it. Now as you're wrapping, the grass might be getting a little thinner. Now you want to add some grass. And what I'll do, I'll slide the new grass in so it's uniform. This way, keeping a consistent diameter and making sure that our hive is uniform throughout. So what you want to do Take the end and bring it around to where your palm frond rope meets. You take your pointy instrument, you make a hole underneath the first wrap that you did. That will make it easier for you to feed your palm rope through and pull the palm rope tight. Your next weave will go under the next wrap. So you tie a simple overhand knot. Now you want to add some grass. So keep weaving in this manner until your hive has reached approximately two feet. That's perfect. Now we're ready for the doors. And as you can see they require a little less grass but it's the same process. We've candy caned the grass and now we're gonna wrap it around because we want the door one to two inches in diameter max. And now we'll feed the palm frond through the grass. It's going to be really ugly at first, don't worry. So be sure to remember, with the body, you're always weaving up. With the door, you're weaving out. So as you can see, the cylinder has no bottom, which actually means you'll be weaving two doors. The first door will have a hole in the middle, for the bees to enter. The second door will have no holes. Any holes on the hive or on the doors should be patched with mud or cow dung. Oh, yeah, nice, Tyler, real nice. Hey, but what is this sticker? What is this rope for? This stick's gonna be supporting the hive when it's hanging out in the bush. Okay. So now we're gonna put the doors on the hive. And what I've done is whittled down five wooden stakes that we'll place around the door. Pierce your door and then pierce the edge of the hive. Hey, Tyler, before you fasten this lid on, don't you think we need to bait the hive so the bees are attracted? You're so right, Matt. How did I forget? And some of the baits we're going to use is this cologne. I'm putting the cologne around the entrance and on the inside of the hive. Next, I'll take this, this hot melted beeswax and put it in lines running the length of the hive. Great job, Tyler. So one of the best ways to bait the Kenyan top bar hive is to pour a small bead of wax right along the underbelly of one of the top bars. This will give the bees a guide so that they build their comb, one comb on each top bar. When it's finished, it will look something like this. And you can just separate the two very easily. And you have a nice bead of wax running right down the center. Use a knife and just peel away a little bit of the wax to make sure that it's nicely centered down the middle of the top bar. This is a great spot for an apiary. 
There are plenty of trees for shade and wind protection, and they're flowering for bee fodder. Is there a fence? Fence! Is there water? Water! The sun is hot. Do we have shade? Shade! Are there any bee fodder trees? Milana! Let's go ahead and hang the hive. Oh gosh darn it. I said catch! But I have to agree with Matt. This is a great place for a hive. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's lift it about two or three meters off the ground so we don't have to worry about lizards and ruminants. Now we've made the hive, we've baited the hive, and we've placed it in the apiary. There's really very little more to do than just sit and wait. And that's hive making and placement for ya. Nathaniel Faddy's Miracle Videos. Beekeeping, hive making, and placement. The views and ideas expressed by Nathaniel Fans Miracle Videos are not the views and ideas expressed by Peace Corps, the Gambia, or Peace Corps, Washington. Any questions, concerns, or free tickets to closed tapings, please write to P.O. Box 1234567891011 11, 12, America.